so we will study how to identify simple remedies in practice like naxomica let's say the most important thing in naxomica is love for power love to organize it is very difficult to crush a naxomica person unless and until he is totally injured <laughs> otherwise he is a very strong person very dictatorial powerful individual and if you remove everything from him all these qualities he will be a dead man so he is a good organizer he is a good leader he will organize everything for you he loves to take challenge so let us see from jungian language in jungian psychology what are the characteristic symbolic interpretation of naxomica symbol means you know eh? that there are some symbols which has some already known meaning to that known meaning we will now compare the personality of naxomica the first symbol is warrior warrior in the sense fighter this is extremely important to understand so most important thing within that warrior symbol is what does warrior do write down symbolic meaning of warrior means fight and victory correct and nax people will always like to be very proud of their victory they love to fight battles warrior also has to be a skilled person no how to handle the gun how to handle the tank so nax are very skilled people warrior has to be fearless so he is very fearless so write down first all symbolic meaning of warrior on one side and then nax on the other side warrior has to be very rough tough but what happens when there is no war the warrior is restless same nax is restless nax never enjoys holidays nax people never like to sit ideal because there is nobody to fight there is no challenge do you follow so if anybody says to you my husband goes to office even on sunday most he will be a naxomica type so a warrior basically has no mercy so many times nax are also very heartless because warrior kills anybody who comes in front of him and warriors are mostly obstinate they will not listen to anybody they will just kill they'll just finish accepting a person who is very superior to him like military general or something like that he lobe otherwise 99% to hell with it so basically he doesn't care for anybody so where will you see this that he doesn't care for anybody how will you look into the repertory anybody who will say that you don't care for anybody indifferent i'm indifferent to what yeah indifferent but indifference still doesn't indicate to you that i don't care for you aversion to answer that's the right rubric see it's very simple let's say you are in the house correct and your wife says please lock the door when you go you don't answer you just walk out do you follow you don't care for your wife <laughs> then if she says okay bhai ye karna wo karna tune jaisa suna hi nahi hai chale gaya ghar se bahar aversion to answer correct so this is how you should learn the art the second is anger from interruption aversion to interruption sala mai bolta hu chup this is characteristic of nax tere ko bolne ka chance hi nahi dega so this is a very characteristic of nax he doesn't care usually i remember <laughs> once husband and wife came to my clinic the husband was nax uski wife said that whatever i tell my husband he just does like this you understood the wife said don't do this it irritates me so then i asked the husband that what is the meaning of this he said chal bhag you understood now when you how how can you tell your wife chal bhag i tell you one incident in pune some many years back there was an old man with cancer he called me for a visit in pune very sick person elderly man i never knew that he is a cartoon so i go to his house and you know as a maharashtrians they when a doctor comes from bombay you know, she was offering me tea and coffee and some nashta and that old man was in the last room and then he walks into the hall for case taking and uh, so wife is still standing you know next to me and you know what he does the first thing god this is the way he is telling his wife he could have politely said to me under basa thanks ata me doctor said goshti karte no he just did like this and i got the remedy almost only a person who doesn't care for somebody will behave like this so, so this is egoistic person hmm egoistic person hmm? egoistic yes you can say but basically they don't care right down and that is the reason why they become sometimes overconfident so nax people are usually overconfident 
and that is why they usually tend to ignore rules and regulation so they will park their car in no parking do you follow they will break the laws because they think no end of themselves because basically what is a soldier if you remember there was a hindi movie in which there was a soldier and this soldier is in fight with the local police and see how he destroys the whole police people he doesn't even care for the police when he becomes angry he destroys he brings a patent tank and then fights with the police when and finishes the police i don't remember that movie but but all of you go to internet today and read one character hot h o t hot s p u r spur hot spur ek hi word hai beta it's one word and in hot spur you put shakespeare and you will understand what i'm talking and read his character a typical naksomika so why he doesn't follow the rule because he feels rule is against his authority and that is why he never follows the rule that is why he never obeys the command that is why he never obeys the request so why is he so behaving like this like that nax behave in this manner only because he thinks he is very skillful he is very courageous he is very daring and that is why he is very sure nobody can do better than me and that makes him very fastidious the literal meaning of fastidious is a one who cannot be satisfied nax will never be at satisfied nax only wants to do things what he has done and he believes in that other people he will doubt other people he will criticize and that makes uh, nax very censorious person to criticize people all the time all the time and that's why nax people many times are very proud and they blow their own trumpet i am the great i am the hanuman i'm the strong you remember the we had a boxer known as mamad ali and he always said in the ring i am the greatest correct i am the greatest Now, how can you be greatest you cannot be greatest all the time but see this is how the nax people believe so what is the difference here between a warrior and a fighter you fight out of anger you fight out of bitterness warrior does not fight because of anger or bitterness so warrior feels it is his religion to fight it is his duty to fight so all people like naxomika and ignatia and all other remedies they bloody fight out of bitterness tune mera dil toda na main teri biwi ko chhodungi nahi tune mera ye kiya i'll come to your marriage and destroy you sabke samne bolunge ki you are an affair with me sabke samne bolunge tune mere ko pregnant kiya tha this is out of bitterness many times you will see on the day of marriage the ex girlfriend goes to the boyfriend's house and creates a hangama bitterness se quarrel karti hai warrior kya hota hai warrior ki life mein aisa koi incident hi nahi hota hai warrior ko jo mere samne aata hai destroy hota hai mere side pe aata hai usko main kuch kuch nahi karta hu samne chale gaye to destroy so if you're in a line with me now being in line with means you have to say yes yes to him and you have to say sorry sorry to him to दो थिंग्स है वो राइन में रहने वाला है तो मोमेंट यू से तू कौन है रे देन फिनिश ही डिस्ट्रॉय यू यू अंडरस्टूड डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फाइटर सो फाइटर इज द वन हु फाइट्स विद सम इमोशंस एंगर बिटरनेस रिजेंटमेंट हेट रेड डिसअपॉइंटमेंट नाउ अनदर वेरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक मेनी टाइम्स यू विल सी इन योर प्रैक्टिस समबडी सेस ओ ही बिकम्स एंग्री यू नो डॉक्टर इन एंगर ही कैन डू एनीथिंग वायलेंट बट इन टू मिनट्स ही इज क्वाइट He forgets everything. Tum thanda pad jata hai. He is like a soda water bottle. Initially lot of gas. Now why? This is exactly warrior. Because after killing the person in front of him, does he have malice for the dead man? You write that. Nax does not keep malice. Does Nax does not keep hatred. Warrior. But let's say fighter. Fighter always keeps all these things. That's another big difference. So let's see what happens. Here. How are these people behaving in life? Let's say. you are a nax very powerful influential person you will only face two type of people people who are kabutar small and people who can give you a fight okay so people you are kabutar you ignore them correct contemptuous nax are very contemptuous people chale phot ye dekha kya dai dai kilo ka thoda bas ho gaya is just one word and contemptuous हॉस्पिटल जाना है क्या शमशान पहुंचा हो क्या दिस इज ऑल कंटेंचुअस वर्ड शादी करना है ना घर में बच्चे है ना दिस इज टिपिकल ऑफ नक्स कंटेंचुअस बट इफ यू गिव अ फाइट देन हिल डिस्ट्रॉय यू 
if you are a strong person you will not use such word he'll directly attack you and destroy you but he is not a sadistic person he doesn't keep malice shan kar diya talk is over and that is why they are miles away nakswamika with this nature of warrior from art and culture i remember a real story i was in first mbbs and there was a girl known as shaila in my class and it was that cultural thing or something like that she the they said that uh, professor that any one of you come on the stage and sing a song to so that girl i don't know out of the blue she stands up and she starts singing the song lag ja gale kisi ki and then some boy i don't know which bloody guy <laughs> removes ten paisa and throws on throws on her body immediately she walks down she starts weeping and she sits on the chair and the guy who bloody true ten paisa he is contentious for sure because he runs other people down but also bloody he has no because she was really singing nice and he has no value for art culture anything so naks are like that if somebody is dancing somebody is singing poetry <laughs> chal bag and there's something like that you know so if somebody comes for donation also that okay we are having a exhibition of this and poetry and they say, come on don't waste your bloody time and do this <laughs> if the son of a nakswami said daddy i want to become a singer in hindi <laughs> film industry so is always will die bikhari these are the nak attitudes see homeopathy is not a dead picture in the textbook you know the living examples no which have so if you don't know how to react and correlate in your practice you will never be a successful homeopath so the most of the new cases i saw i knew the remedy before i was directly attacking that lady who came she was typical natrum because at the end of the day she is collecting all the resentment like a hot potato reserved in the back carrying it on the shoulders and making her shoulder heavy that's what she had pain in both the shoulders do you really think that she is a laborer to have a pain in shoulder no she is not a mazdoor so they don't like to play much they are not interested in the cricket score and all those things they are not interested in laughing they are typical work 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 and work so this is important aspect the another important thing is that they are very frank they speak anything that comes to their mouth and that is why people are afraid to go near him you understood anything but mostly it is truth but things you should not tell others let's say somebody has failed in exams three times and then he becomes a doctor and then he comes to me and i say hey failure <laughs> abhi kitna time chal raha hai i should not speak like that so what is the rubric without soche samjhe kiska izzat rakhe mena you speak like that on the face indiscretion the rubric is indiscretion mane without discreet thinking you speak ya koi ladki has multiple affairs in the life correct so you cannot say chalu to her in front of everybody okay you can think in your mind that she is chalu but you cannot tell in a party hey chalu it's bad nax will say on the face wo darega bhi nahi ekdam nanga aadmi hai bol dega koi bhi ho uska father in law kyun nahi ho that's why many son in laws who insult their father in law mother in law they are all having some degree of nax character but they don't respect them see many times we know our father in law is a bewda but we cannot tell our father in law a bewda nax will go and say bewda tu to kar nahi sakta apni beti ke liye main shaadi kar raha hu beech mein nahi bolna you are trying to understand what type of person this is very good people with this indiscretion behavior people in the audience some will be very happy with his attitude and some will be so threatened that they will leave the hall because unka number next nahi aa jaye do you follow so now let us see nax in challenges that nax loves challenges and nax plans everything then will strike the person at the right time and they are full of energy nax exhaust everybody around him when i went to holland i used to have a student and i gave him a job that look for 7 years i am going to come to holland at least 10 20 times and i'll be teaching lack remedies and i said you have to copy down every word and record every word and attend every and then i will say okay now you please count how many students are there for coffee and count how many students are there for lunch and calculate and i keep on giving him work one work after another one day he told me on the last day sir it takes me two months to relax after you leave holland then i understood that how much 
strong I was with him all the time. You understood? So there are many instances where I was in the state of Naxomika. So they exhaust the people around them, but they love exertion. They have a lot of energy. They love physical activity. The most important is that they plan, they prepare. Then the second symbolism is the night. K-N-I-G-H-T. So let us see night. Now night is a person who defends, who defends or fights for the honor of the king, also honor of government. I'll give a common example. Let's say this is a ladki, a ladka, he is running away. Nak sees this, sees. See the, his nak smash kar dega. Why? Ye to kamzor hai na. Night, honor, correct? For the weak people to protect. King ka duty to hai na kamzor ko. So this is very important. So many times naks becomes a symbolic way in a night, protecting poor, protecting weak. But more than that, fighting for injustice. Naks is a leading remedy. So naks ko har cheez mein problem. Koi bhi galat cheez. Line Q, Q cross kiya, chal piche bag. You understood? Thuka, chal saaf kar. Pichkari mara, chal ja, dho mera shirt. Karayega, bara bar chudega nahi wo kisko. You cannot have every qualities of every part of the remedy in one person, no? You understood, no? Then the world becomes too complicated, no? So basically, he behaves like a knight and they try to defend the people, okay? So basically, they are knight towards their partners, to their children. But the whole problem is that even though they are so busy and so workaholic, when the time comes, they will become a knight. Otherwise, most of the time, they are warriors. So, I'll give you a very simple example. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie Highway. In the movie Highway, that Alia Bhatt is kidnapped by that Ran, Ranvid Huda. Correct? So, he's a bad man, everything. Correct? But he becomes a knight when his colleague tries to rape Alia Bhatt. And he smashes his nose and throws him out. You saw? This is Nux Omika. So, Nux may beat his wife a lot. Give him a lot of slaps, everything, pull her hair, do everything. But if outsider does something wrong to his wife, he'll murder that man, not his wife. You understood? You saw the duality? This is the advantage of marrying a Naxomika guy. But if you marry a Cilicia man or a Lycopodium man, and in a cinema hall, somebody comes and kisses your wife, <laughs> and he's a strong man, they both will ignore as if they are not. And Nux will find that boy amongst the thousand audience, and destroy his bones before he even reaches the road. You saw the difference? I'll tell you a story. There was a beautiful girl and they go for honeymoon to Egypt. And when Arab comes and says, oh, what a beautiful wife you have. Now this couple came from India. So the Arab says, oh, like beautiful wife. This year he says, yeah, we just got married and we came here to Egypt for honeymoon. Good, good, good. He says, can I kiss your wife? He says, the Indian man says, oh, Okay, but kiss over here, not on the, on the face. In India, if you kiss on the face, it is love. Okay, kiss. The Arab says, okay, thank you. But what if I want to marry her? Oh, shock. He says, hey, don't worry, I'll give you, instead of marriage, a lot of gift. He says, I'll give you 1,000 camels if you allow me to marry your wife. And that man is thinking, thinking, thinking. And after five minutes, he says, no, you can't marry my wife. The wife becomes very angry after the Arab goes. He says, why it took you 10 minutes to answer no? What were you thinking? He says, I was thinking how to transport 1,000 camels to India. <laughs> So this is lycopodium. Like this is lycopodium. Like Nox, what I said, sala line mara tera dono aak bar nikal deta. You understood? This is knight. Lyco can never be a knight. So basically, even though he behaves like a knight, but he is a rough man to live with. So basically, Nox are not very refined individual. But basically, most of the Nox are courteous toward women and weak people. But they are very dominating towards the woman. They control the woman but they will also protect the woman. So another knight in our homeopathic Matriya Medica is Causticum. Hmm? So you have to always differentiate Nux knight from a Causticum knight. Causticum also fights for weak and injustice and all those things. But Causticum will try to improve the system than the individual. While Nux does not believe in improving the system. Well, Causticum, if he sees that somebody kissed my wife and Rena, we'll take him and put him to the police. Nux a police for the first punishment from me, then police. Do you follow? Many Nux people 
are basically very very honest people religious people faithful people so because most of the knights are king used to keep knight only to protect him the last symbol emperor so emperor or the king now just just like we have good king and we have got bad kings nax is also a good emperor and a bad emperor <coughs> emperor is a symbolic of power ruler power the biggest problem is that emperor does not want another emperor around him and that is why in the house if he has children and the son tries to act smart with him and now also he is also 20 years old and there is a fight of two emperors finish the house is in the quarrel all the time father will say to the son get lost you idiot son of a fool the son will say you first get lost this is my house i throw you out so what if it is your house come and have a fight with me let's see who wins emperor doesn't want another emperor so emperor cannot tolerate contradiction you understood so they are very dictatorial i sometimes wonder why nax is not mentioned in the rubric dictatorial it should be there according to me but in my repertory i have done the addition so basically nax can be very good emperor and protect people and help people but at the same time they are quite dominating and dictatorial also and then they go into a bitter fight become a warrior and destroy you so okay from tomorrow no school fees no food lock the door don't allow him to enter the house stay on the street this is typical nax father do you follow and he'll tell his wife if i see you giving food to him from the house i'll throw you in the fire wife is finished also he'll take all the precaution he'll destroy his son's life they don't mind doing that because he wants to become an emperor but there can be only one so remember nax having a nax child very dangerous nax having a nax wife impossible in the world they can they'll never have only he'll never marry a woman who is nax they need pulsatilla and they need all netram type of woman they are very cool with that because then they can torture them nothing happen okay the nax are extremely good at business and they are very practical people you understood and they are very responsible in the business but they are merciless businessmen they don't leave anything they don't have heart let's say somebody is losing his whole house because he cannot pay the money nax will take the whole house he will not see whether where tonight where will he sleep so in that way they are quite strong and typical business person you know and then comes another symbol which is a little weaker symbol and that is the king now there is a difference between a king and a emperor emperor wants to expand he is a ruler king is a also ruler but king has a heart king is always more healthier than the emperor and that is why when he becomes a king he understands people better and so he becomes a very good husband he becomes a very good father he becomes a very good employer but still has all the good traits so if you meet a nax in your life who is on a king size he is really your best friend you understood because he understands you he will never call you a chalu he will say okay don't worry you had a traumatic emotional life don't worry i have a brother in america when he comes i'll make you a friendship and i'll get you married and really he gets you married you understood see so nice because he is a king now so most of the politicians in the world are emperors and very few are the kings do you follow but i think so arvin kejriwal goes more towards the king you understand because he does it with little heart but otherwise most of the politicians are nax they are very blunt they are very sharp they can recognize the talent of opposite person very fast but they are very strict controlling but many times they have double standard many times he himself doesn't follow the principle do you follow so this is also true of nax swamika nax enjoys the company of intelligent and confident people he gets very angry in stupid people so many people come and tell me oh doctor i get very angry when people are stupid i get very angry when they don't understand simple things these are all nax people who are talking like that so basically nax swamika as you all know is a very important remedy in our materia medica and you know ki it has got a very important alkaloid dose strychnin and basically it's because of the strychnin this remedy was proved into homeopathy by dr samuel hanneman in the third edition of materia medica pura mmp third edition and it comes from the family longinesi and the seeds are the powdered one and from the powdered seeds you triturate and then make the potent usually they are very lean and thin individual but they are very very hearty and full of life they usually have a dark circle below the eyes the movements are always brisk lot of force and they always walk very fast huh? 
wife is five miles behind them when they walk on the road. They talk, walk and eat rapidly. Always, if you see on the road, wife is at <laughs> Puna railway station and the husband has reached Ruby Hall. The husband is knocked and the wife keeps on, hey, wait, daddy wait, daddy wait. <laughs> These are all nuts, guy. They eat very fast, run out of the restaurant. Wife is still not even washed the, finished the, washing the hands. He's out. Talks also very fast. That South Indian who comes from the Yeah. <laughs> These are bloody nuts. You don't understand. Half of the people who work around Nakswamika, they say, oh, but we don't understand what you talk. They talk so fast. But another type of naks are also very slow and studious and very proper. I'm talking about the king type, but very chilly people. Whenever they are weak, they start trembling. That is very characteristic. If you try to limit Naksvamika, they go into severe aggravation. If you put them in the rules, regulation, restrictions, severe aggravation. But they are very quarrelsome, highly irritable. They need an outlet to express. If you block their outlet, very oversensitive people oversensitive to pain, touch, noise, odor, medicines. Most of the NUCs reacts to allopathic medicines, homeopathic medicine. He feels people are extremely intolerable. Hanneman says this very clearly that NUCs Omeka one day will be a remedy for highly civilized people. Highly civilized people who live in the town and who live under the stress of life and develop physical and mental problems. Nuts are usually brain workers, so sedentary people, more inclined to strain their nervous system than their muscular system. And to make their nervous system work, they always have some stimulants. Cigarette, coffee, alcohol, tea, tambako, baba, zarda, fat, they love a lot of fat, fatty things, tasty food, hmm? food which has a strong taste. What do you call that? Which rubric you will say? Person who likes any food with a very strong taste. What is that? Pungent. Correct. Pungent. Pungent means strong taste. Beer, alcohol, condiments. The biggest enemy of Nakswamika is meat. Always aggravates. Milk. Always aggravates. Coffee always. If they drink coffee, sleepless night. Many people will say, oh, evening time don't give me coffee. All night I won't sleep. And they don't like cold food. They cannot eat large meals. They only like small meals. Sleep is always very light, easily disturbed by dreams, which are very frightful. And one symptom which all of you suffer from, drowsiness after lunch, classroom. <laughs> is there anybody who did not sleep in the afternoon after eating in the lunch in the classroom? Everybody